Hi, welcome to Next Day Solar. We're here in Hampstead Superb Gardens. So today we had the approval of installing uh, six panels on a uh, flat roof on the garage behind me. So the condition was that you can't see it from the ground. So the parapet is high enough that you can see the panels from the ground. So we'll be installing here today six panels on the east-west mountain. We're also going to be installing two panel tech batteries for 4.8 kilowatt each. So that is 9.6 kilowatt of battery storage in this property and a 3.6 kilowatt hybrid inverter solace. So let's go and catch the rays. So first thing we do is actually go on the roof and measure it and get the brackets up. Once we have the brackets up, we mount the frame. So on this installation, we are using a Van der Valk mountain. So that is an east-west mountain. Once we've mounted the frame, we put the ballast on the ballast trays and once we have the ballast trays in place, we go and test the panels and we test the panels on, we test the irradiance of the panels and it's a test that we have to perform here on site to see that if the panels are still in good condition to be installed here. Once we do that, we um, get the panels up on the roof and we hook them on the brackets that have been placed. So once we have fixed the panels um, to the frame, we connect them in series and once they are connected in series, we then start getting um, uh, the cable run from where the inverter will be and in this scenario we've separated them in two strings, so we have an east and a west string. Once that is done, we get the cable inside and then we connect the DC array cables into a surge protection device for the DC and that is there to protect the inverter from any uh, surges uh, on the DC side and then we make the ends for the MC4 to connect it to the inverter and that's the solar panel side done. What we have here is a uh, Solis uh, 3.6 kilowatt hybrid inverter. Um, here we have the junction box for the DC array and here we have an AC isolator for the inverter and this is going back to the house, main house for the consumer board unit and we have here the batteries and 4.8 kilowatt each so that's a total of 9.6 kilowatt of battery storage we have here the isolator for the battery and the joining box for the battery so this is a kit that we uh, usually offer to most of the customers and uh, and it has been a great option uh, for us and for the customers. The Pylontech batteries are very good and reliable and so far Solis has been very reliable and also you're able to manage this inverter uh, remotely from your app and you can decide whether you want to charge it at night or during the day or you know, an off-peak time or on-peak time. So you can decide that depending on which tariff you're on. So we plugged everything in and uh, now everything is working fine. We reached the end of the day, so it's almost sundown and uh, the panels are not generating as much as they would have generated uh, around midday. But uh, at the moment everything is working fine and we're happy to see that this job has been completed. So as you can see here, the parapet is high enough that you can't see the panels from here. Today was a beautiful day and it was good for a solar generation. So uh, as you can see, you can also have in this area in Hampstead Gardens, if you have a garage and with a harp at high enough, you can have solar panels on your roof. And just like uh, this customer here, it could be a possibility for you to generate solar energy throughout the day with a sunny day like today and push that to a battery or maybe just uh, to the load of your property. So if you want to have an installation just like this and you are in the Hampstead Suburb Garden area or any other conservation area, please contact us at nextdaysolar.co.uk. Thank you very much and see you on the next one.